What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel Mr. Gaming Tech, a place where you'll find the latest tutorial and reviews on everything video game and tech related. If it can be hacked, let me be your guide in showing you how to do it. If you like my videos and you want to know when I upload new content, make sure you click on the subscribe button and the bell to be notified. It not only helps motivate me to continue making these videos for you, but also it helps YouTube to find my videos to share with the rest of the world. If you want to help support me, the easiest thing you can do is like the video, leave a comment, and hit that subscribe button. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Today, I'll be showing you how to update your hack switch the correct way, which will allow you to play newer games like the new Animal Crossing, New Horizon, as well as prevent your switch from burning up any microfuses that will prevent you from downgrading if there is ever a need for you to do that in the future. It's always a good idea to make a backup of your NAND before proceeding with these tutorials in case you ever want to restore back to an earlier point or if your switch doesn't function the way you expect it to after updating. Uh, for me, I've already backed up my NAND ahead of time so I won't be covering that in this video. But if you want to know how to do this, there's plenty of other tutorials online that can show you how. I might create another video on this process if you guys ask me nicely, but for the purpose of this video, I'm only going to cover the update process including updating your Atmosphere custom firmware to the latest 0.10.5 version which was released on March 18, 2020. So just to quickly show you my Nintendo Switch here, you can see that I'm currently not on the latest version because if I go over to system and I go to the system update area you can see underneath the text there that it says system update is ready and if I click on it it's going to want to update my system this isn't the right way to update your hack Nintendo switch because it might cause a problem so I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do it properly also keep in mind feel free to use this video as a guide for any version that is below the official firmware for your Nintendo Switch. But what you'll want to do is make sure that the Atmosphere custom firmware that you're going to be using supports that latest version. As of the making of this video, the latest Nintendo official firmware is 9.2.0 and the latest version of Atmosphere is 0.10.5 which supports the official 9.2.0 firmware. So what you're going to want to do is first we're going to Turn off our Nintendo Switch. And after your Nintendo Switch is turned off, we'll go ahead and we'll continue the rest of this tutorial on our computer. Okay, so we're back on our computer and we're going to need to download some files. I'll go ahead and share the link with you guys where you can download this program, Choi Du Jour NX which will be the program we're going to use to update our Nintendo Switch offline. Um, so the latest version is 1.02. There are some other files on here, but the only one you're going to need for this tutorial is the 1.02 Troy DeJour NX zip file that we're going to download right now. Um, the other software to take note of here on this website is the Tegra RCM Smash. Make sure you grab the latest version if you don't already have a payload injector. Um, this will help you to launch your Nintendo Switch um, exploit and then be able to get into the homebrew so that we can load the software that will allow us to do our update offline. So feel free to take a look at what software this website offers but once you finish downloading the Troy DeJour NX file. We're gonna go ahead and grab some other file you're gonna need, uh, specifically the actual firmware itself. Since the official Nintendo firmware is copyrighted, um, I can't share with you guys the link that I'm going to right here, but if you notice in the video, the name, Dirt Sternies, that's where you can go to get these files. So um, send me a message if you guys are having issues. But if you just Google Dirt Sterney's firmware, you should be able to find this page here. And you can scroll to the last page, which will have the latest firmware 9.2.0 for you to download. So go ahead and click the file to download. 
is going to take you to Mega um, File Share, and if you click download, it'll go ahead and download onto your machine. You can see I already have it downloaded previously, and so with that, um, we only have a few more files that we need to grab. So after getting the firmware, we're going to want to go to Atmosphere website. Uh, they just released a brand new update uh, as of yesterday, March 18th. Uh, the latest version is 0 0.10.5. Um, and what you'll want to do is you'll want to download that file plus the payload uh, Fusey primary bin that goes with the 10.5 version of Atmosphere. And with these two files, we'll, we're almost there um, to set up our SD card and get ready for the update. So in preparation for the update to 9.2.0 and using Atmosphere 10.5, I'm gonna wanna grab uh, the SIG patches. That way my software still works after the update. Um, I will go ahead and include the link for you guys to find the SIG patches um, here. Um, if you look up Juni86 GitHub for Hikate, uh, you should be able to find these files. But like I said, I will include the link for you so that you guys don't have to go searching for these. So I'm going to grab the signature patch file for Atmosphere because that's the custom firmware I'm using. And once that finishes downloading, we're pretty much ready now to set up our SD card and um, get ready to do the update. So I put all of my files that I downloaded into a folder called SD card setup. You can call this folder whatever you want. I just grouped it together to make it simple for you guys to see. Um, and the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to start extracting the zip files into their own folders um, because we're going to need the content inside the zip files. So let me go ahead and start extracting all of these zip files for you here. Almost done. Just a few more. All right. So now we've extracted all of our zip files. Um, you can go ahead and delete them so that uh, you can save some space on your hard drive. Um, and now we have the files that we need to load onto our SD card, which I already have in my machine. So what you'll want to do is you'll want to create a folder on your SD card and call it firmware. We're going to drop the content of the 9.2.0 zip file into this firmware folder. So you can just highlight all the files and hit cut and then go into the firmware folder you created on your SD card and paste it in there. All right, so we have all of our firmware files on the SD card. Next, we're gonna go ahead and grab the Trua de Jour NX file, um, that NRO. Um, this is a homebrew app. We'll grab that and we're going to put it into our switch folder. I like to put all of my homebrews into a subfolder with their names. So go ahead and create a subfolder if you like inside the switch folder for Troy Dujour NX and put your file there. Um, one new thing about Atmosphere 
0 0.10.5 um, is that they use a uh, BIS uh, security flag. Um, so in order to do the update and to be compliant with that new security flag, you're going to need to go into the atmosphere folder and create a subfolder called flags, F-L-A-G-S. Um, and in this subfolder, we're going to create a blank text file. Uh, make sure that you have your file extension showing because we're going to change the extension from txt to flag. And the name of this file is going to be hbl underscore bis underscore write dot flag. Um, I'll put the details in the description so that you guys have the correct spelling of this file. But just make sure that the extension is not txt and that the extension is dot flag. And the way to do that is to make sure you're showing your file extension. Um, like I have there in the view, uh, I have the checkbox file extension is showing. Um, so now we're ready to go ahead and update our Atmosphere firmware itself. So we can grab all the files that was in the Atmosphere zip file, then go to the root of our SD card and paste it right into the root of the SD card overriding whatever was there. This will update all of the existing atmosphere from the previous firmware. Um, and then uh, we'll want to go back and grab those six patches and update those as well. So you'll grab your six patches, go back into the atmosphere folder and paste those two folders in here so that it'll update your signature patches for you to uh, use your software. So with this, our SD card is ready. Uh, we'll go ahead and eject and I will see you back on the switch. So back on your switch, you'll put your SD card back in and you're going to plug a USB-C from your switch to your PC and you're going to launch Tegra RCM GUI so that we can load the payload. Uh, you can see in the bottom right corner there that that's what I'm doing on my machine. And as soon as I load the payload, atmosphere will boot up on my Nintendo Switch and if everything goes well we should be able to see the main menu once this loading screen finishes. And we got our main menu. So now back on our Switch what we're going to want to do is go to the album app hold your right trigger button so that you can get into the homebrew menu and here in our homebrew menu uh, we'll want to go to Troy du jour NX so that we can start the upgrade process all right sorry the homebrew application doesn't give me control via the controller so I had to switch over to my phone to record this so what we'll do is once we're in the Chor de Jour NX application we're gonna go to our firmware folder that we created and here in the fo firmware folder we'll go ahead and click select choose And you can see that it found our latest firmware. What we're going to want to use is the 9.2.0 EX mode because that's what our SD card is formatted in. So just allow the firmware to update. And once the verification is done, you can go ahead and say select firmware. And we can start the installation.
once we're done, you'll want to choose Reboot. And shut down now. Once this process is done, you can go ahead and delete the firmware folder and the HBL underscore BIS underscore write that flag file that we put into that atmosphere folder earlier. And once we reboot the switch with the payload, uh, we should be on version 9.2.0. Um, and all of our applications should still be working. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And we will see what we got here. So far, so good. No bricks, which is always a good thing. So we go to our system setting. You can see that we are currently running system firmware 9.2.0 with the atmosphere 0 0.10.5 custom firmware. So we are on the latest version with the latest firmware. Let's make sure that our software still works. So, I'm just going to go ahead and select one of these games that I have here. And it looks like everything is still working. So... We are good to go. I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. That's the only way I'm going to be able to keep making these videos for you guys. So until next time, take care. Stay safe. Peace out.